Hey, it's me Elena. I got those parcels today from Walks and you're gonna witness how one of my childhood dreams will come true because inside the bigger box is one of Sailor Soldiers, recently released Sailor Jupiter. <laughs> and inside smaller boxes her school uniform. She is my first dolphin dream, which is a line of animal looking vinyl dolls. Gosh, I can't wait! Let's open her together and enjoy this beautiful green-eyed Makoto King doll. Until now, three girls have been released from this collaboration – Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars. Basically, every year starting from 2017. So, if you are a fan of a Sailor Venus, be prepared for next year! Her main box is of a beautiful pearl color. On the front is a Jupiter portrait on a sparkling background with lightning. There is also a 25th Sailor Moon anniversary logo. Soon, I guess, it will be replaced with a 30th anniversary one. A bit lower is a little silver toy animation sticker, which shows that it is a licensed doll. On one of the sides there is a Walks logo, which is cut from the outer box. It looks very stylish, because through it we can see a similar inner box and it creates a 3D effect. On one of the box ends there is another sticker with Jupiter preparing to attack. On a white decoration we also see Jupiter's planet sign. Her price is also mentioned, which was 33,000 yen without taxes at the day of the release. On another side is different caution and product information. Here we see that the doll is made in Japan and only for people from 15 years old and up. To open this box you just need to slide it. Whoa, look at this beauty! The doll is naked inside and wrapped in a plastic bag. She also fastens with ribbons and plastic clasps, which reminds me of one from brass. She has a very beautiful face and green eyes. She was never my most favorite sailor soldier, but I just couldn't stand this beauty. She was stunning in her promo photos, but in real life she is even prettier. Her eyelashes are painted with purple-ish brown color, which makes her face look softer. She has a gentle orange cheek blush with pink lines. Her lips are painted orange. Her eyes are of an incredible green color, darker on top and lighter almost yellow leaf green on the bottom. Her eyebrows are a bit on an angle, which makes her look very determined, which perfectly matches the strong character of Makoto Kino. On the back of the head there is an engraving that the head was produced in 2019 by Volks. Inside her eyes are fixed with hot glue, which is classical Volks method of fixing eyes, which I personally don't really understand. Her body is DDF3 body with M bust. As I'm holding this body for the first time, I was impressed how well made it is. No squeaks and it has a good mobility. It is really pleasant to touch. Her hands have lines and nails. Honestly, I'm very impressed and now really want to compare it with a smart doll body. In the big bag we got a doll specific booklet and usual Dolphy Dream Guide. Guide is pretty informative and contains lots of interesting information for newcomers like me. Doll booklet on the front has a big Sailor Jupiter portrait. She is on a beautiful background with stars and bubbles, which reminds me of anime itself. Near her hand is lightning as she is ready to attack. Here also is a list of what is included in the set. Inside is a Jupiter photo in full height, all set pieces in detail and basic information about the dog. 
Whoa, they ask us to make holes in her ears by ourselves. There is a detailed instruction of how to do that in order to be able to wear those amazing canonical earrings. I'm not sure if I will be brave enough to make holes in the limited doll. It definitely requires some thinking. On the second page, there is instruction of how to wear parts of Sailor Jupiter outfit, her wig and hair decorations and her tiara. On the back is another awesome Jupiter portrait. Here's detail of Jupiter's outfit is her tiara. It is made from thick plastic and painted in a golden color. In the middle it has a painted green imitation of a crystal. Be careful wearing it for a long time, it could stain the doll's head as it doesn't have any protection from the inside. Another magical attribute is her wand. It looks absolutely the same as in the anime. It is plastic and painted in metallic golden and green colors. It is very detailed and it makes me happy just to hold it in my hands. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you want your doll to hold it, you will need to get additional gesture hands. The default set doesn't include them. I think both her magical accessories looks great and I'm absolutely in love. Her boots are also incredible. They are of a dark pine green color and made from the lacquer for leather material and have heels, same as original. Soul is also the same green color. However, the original Jupiter boots had a brown sole. In front they are laced up with very nice thick laces. Green zippers behind them makes it easy to put them on the doll's feet. Inside boots are white, which is great for protection from stains. She has a very good styled brown wig. It has side curls, bangs which go a bit on the side and are fixed with hair lacquer. And of course a long and gorgeous ponytail. Her parting is made from skin color silicone with individual hairs inserted. So it looks very realistic. Also I need to warn you to be careful with this wig. It was on for less than a day on my doll and already stained her head from behind. So wear it strictly only with a wig cap. Her hair decorations are two blue color balls connected to pins. I was always thinking that this is a hairband, but Wolf decided to do it like this. Maybe it's for the best, as hairbands have a tendency to age and decay. Also, it's definitely a lot easier to put on her wig. Gloves are made from a very thin faux leather. I would prefer them made from a cotton, but oh well, nobody asked me. On top they have a green bit lacquer material and fastened with velcro. I'm already looking forward to the struggles of putting them on. Here is her sailor costume's bow. It is separate and attached with two snaps to the main dress. Bow itself is made from shiny pink fabric. Brooch in the middle is from plastic and covered with the same green metallic paint as her wand and the tiara stone. The checker is made with beautiful green fabric, which shines just a bit, making it look amazing. What I loved about it is that it has a white cotton fabric from the inside out, so it won't stain the doll's neck. Fastener is a simple metallic hook.
Her earrings are so beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't know if my doll ever would wear them. They look like normal human earrings. They are metallic with gentle metallic pink roses on them. She would look so great with them. And finally, let's look at the main sailor costume. Its color is green with soon to it white stripes. From inside out, it also has white cotton fabric. I guess it's so the main white material of the costume doesn't get stained. The main costume is made from shiny white fabric with which I'm not totally happy, but overall it looks not bad. Where white part meets the skirt and also on her sleeves, there are puffy faux leather details, exactly as it is in the original costume. Pleated skirt is made from the same beautiful green fabric as the collar and chuck. Underneath we can see that it's white and also her suit is a bodysuit. Behind is a big pink bow made from the same material as her front bow. Color as the bow also attached with the metallic snaps. I think it's an, an interesting idea. And the costume also fastens from behind with the same snaps. Let's look at Makoto's school uniform. We all know that her uniform is special and not the uniform of other sailor soldiers because she is too tall and nothing fits her. Her uniform is made from the very pleasant to touch cotton, which I absolutely love. Her cropped blouse on the front has lacing. Her sleeves are fastened with snaps and behind it has a bow. The bow is sewn together so it's nicely laying. The collar is also attached to the blouse with snaps. Behind the whole blouse fastens with snaps too. Her uniform pleated skirt is also super long and nice. Underneath it has semi-transparent white underskirt to protect the doll from the stains and to give the skirt realistic feeling. Skirt fastens with a snap and hook. Shoes are of a black color. They have pointy noses and small heels. Inside they are white with Volks logo.
Sailor Moon will be always in my heart. From this anime started my interest in Japan and Japanese culture. It's even a reason why I'm currently living in Japan and not somewhere else. Because Sailor Moon means so much to me, I was super excited when Volk announced it to be released during the latest doll show. Do you like this anime? Does it mean something important to you? Do you like how Volk did a Sailor Jupiter? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed, please do. It will really support me. And don't forget to press the bell button to get a notification about my new video. Thank you for watching. Come, come.